Meet Austin. He's a fisherman living in a rural African village. Austin has been coughing for a few weeks now. He has been tired and has lost weight. Austin is considering going to the local health center, but a few things are preventing him from going. His grandfather would say to him, men are strong and provide for their families. Only women and children use the health centers. Austin has a disability that prevents him from walking to the health center and the bus only comes once a week. Austin decides to wait and see if he gets better. Gender roles, norms and relations affect the health of men, women and people with non-binary gender identities. As in Austin's case, it influences his vulnerability to and experience of disease and his health-seeking behaviors. Sex and gender also interact with other drivers of inequality that operate within systems and structures of power. Such drivers include geographic location, age and disability. The resulting dynamics influence people's needs, access to and delivery of health interventions, services and programs. Adopting a gender lens in implementation research helps to understand if, how and why health implementation strategies work and how gender relations influence the response at community level. TDR supports gender responsive research on infectious diseases in low and middle income countries. TDR has developed its own intersectional gender research strategy. This strategy aims to generate evidence on gender intersecting inequalities in access to health services, strengthen the capacity of researchers in low and middle income countries to incorporate intersectional gender analysis, and promote a gender inclusive infectious disease research agenda. Thanks to research supported by TDR, the decision makers in Austin's country now have the evidence and knowledge needed to design health interventions that are responsive to men's health needs in similar circumstances. A new tuberculosis screening program was started to raise awareness and help decrease men's healthcare seeking delay. Evidence from gender responsive research enhances equality in access to healthcare. It supports efforts to combat infectious diseases of poverty and it contributes to the achievement of universal health coverage for people in all their diversity.